Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So let's continue with the new account uh, series. This is going to be episode 8 uh, and uh, yeah, episode 7 was actually a live stream. So I was able to do a lot of stages there. I did all the stages here on the third uh, part of the stage. And then I did also the first three levels on the fourth one. Uh, and yeah, let's just continue from there. So I'm going to do first the daily quest and then I'm going to just move on to the uh, stages. All right, so this quest right here is going to be actually spending money on uh, towers. Um, and it's going to be on this level right here. So let's try to let's try to see which towers could actually go well here. See the enemies spawning. So uh, there are no fast enemies, so I think cannon, I can avoid placing it. Uh, maybe I can place minigun, because minigun also can attack like flying enemies. So probably going for minigun uh, one venom right here at the beginning. Uh, and then like just a bunch of minigans could be could be the solution. So I'm going to place actually two venom here. Then, uh, and then yeah, slowly I'm going to place other stuff. Uh, yeah, actually I forgot that the my Venom Towers are not so strong yet, so I might need to place like one basic. So yeah, whatever. Oh wow, a very little range here, but anyway, should be enough, like as soon as I can place here one minigun, uh, I should be able to attack here the whole map, right? Uh, so let's just place one more basic, right right here, pretty close to the beginning. Uh, now the flying enemies are gonna actually follow the top path, so I'm gonna place one minigun as well right here, like in the center of the map, right? That should, uh, that should allow me to attack the flying enemies in a lot of different parts. Uh, and maybe I could also place one or two snipers, right? So I could place up here, like just a minigun. Here we go. Uh, and uh, maybe here. Maybe here, like a sniper. I have four miniguns, so I think I could place like just snipers now. To have uh, just a little bit different type of damage. And to really exploit um, different towers. All right, yeah, let's do let's do it like this. Uh, maybe here I can even go with freezing, with another freezing to slow down the enemies, even here in the left side. So, uh, yeah, let's go with this. Let's hope that that's going to be enough to complete the quest, to maybe do some other quests at the same time. And I also got a bounty, so I can place it and I can start earning some extra coins. Why not? Uh, that could help me at uh, increasing my my overall coins. Right, more slow minigans here upgraded snipers, so everything here level two. Minigun also is pretty decent against like both regular and strong enemies, and then it can attack flying ones. So that's why I think it's the best combination because of the enemies that are spawned. So I can earn here a maximum of 50 coins, so yeah, the efficiency is at 2500. So once I can reach 2500 coins, that means that my my um, my bounty here is generating like 100%, so it's this 100% efficiency, so it's like 50 coins. Uh, I could also get right here a freezing on the top side for the flying uh, enemies, why not? Seems logical. And I will see how long I can survive. Actually here I could place like this basic on last. Um, and I wanna see how long I can survive before I gotta, uh, I gotta upgrade my tower. So I will try to save here to store as many coins as possible so that my bounty uh, gives me more. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's go with rotation speed here. Let's uh, start changing the targeting of the snipers as well, just to try to maximize the, the overall impact on 
the enemies. We're almost here, 2500, so I'm approaching here the 100% efficiency. That's great. That means that we'll start earning 50 coins at the end of each round, so that's awesome. Alright, and now I can start spending here enough coins so that I'm always above 2500, but I'm able to upgrade the towers. So this is the point where you're going to actually spend uh, cash, but you don't want to go below this 100% efficiency. Uh, I could place also here a minigun exploding these attacks with tile. Um, but it's sh like it's gonna be only able to attack the enemies, the flying ones coming from the top. So yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, Alright. So let's start upgrading here these basic towers especially at the beginning. And also I'm gonna increase this venom. As always, after like uh, wave 60, enemies get the boost in their HP and they uh, they become a lot tougher. So here I went a little bit below 2500, but because I really wanted to upgrade these towers to do some more some more damage. Level four, also the freezing here in the left. Nice. Uh, probably maxing now Venom, right? It's going to be 385, so that's pretty expensive, but should be able to get it right now. Also maxing here this uh, uh, freezing to have a higher slow. But in this case, you can see that um, I could theoretically already uh, complete this quest the amount of money spent on towers because I have here almost 3,000 and so I can definitely reach this this amount. But I'll try to see if I can survive uh, a little bit longer. Let's get now this sniper level 4. Maybe also this minigun level 4. Alright, nice. And uh, yeah, whenever I see the two enemy, too many enemies, you can see here they're able to push forward and forward. Probably right here, I need to either upgrade like sniper or to upgrade these minigans. So I will start with minigun. I'll try to get a level six. At least one. The one in the damage tile, right? Should be. Should be the best ones. And then uh, probably this sniper right here because it's already level eight. It's closer to level. It's closer like to level ten, right? To unlock the other ability. So I guess that's that's better. I already got the quest, the daily quest. So I could, uh, in theory, complete the level right now. I could just end it. I will try to see if I can reach wave eighty-eight here. To. Um, to complete this other quest. Let's see. Ricochet. Uh, yeah, because now enemies have a lot of HP. You can see 4,000 each, so it's not so easy to, to bring them down. And I think here I'm gonna die anyway, or I'm gonna be only just a few lives left. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm gonna just stop uh, worrying about trying to save up the, the coins, right? And I will try to just upgrade as many towers as possible to um, to try to survive here a little bit longer. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but I'll try. Yeah, here I might lose. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It was just the, the previous wave before the quest one, but anyway, I'll take it. It was... Uh, I, I got a trophy. And also I got some extra resources, that's uh, that's always good, you know. So let's, let's open up this chest, I should be able to gain even more resources. So, uh, yeah, and let's see the trophy here. Uh, it's, uh, oh nice, 0.5% extra force wave bonus. Uh, can I get something here? On the start research, I think right now I'm trying to go for like more attack speed right here. And then maybe going for 
Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Maybe you're trying to go for this one to go for more power. So maybe unlocking this tree like this. So that I also get more range, more attacks with here. Um, and uh, yeah. Now, at this stage, I think like I'm gonna unlock Tesla here in a moment because in stage 4.5, I'm gonna unlock it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try to hold on my resources so that then as I unlock Tesla, I can upgrade it. Um, all right, now let's see the enemies here spawned, a lot of different enemies. Actually, all of them, right, are gonna be spawned. Uh, yeah, up to, up to the healers. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna need different type of towers here. I think I could probably place like some basic towers here at the beginning, then I can exploit this extra range uh, platform to place uh, freezing. So I'm gonna just wait right there. Maybe also here one of uh, Venom just to apply the damage over time so that the enemies can take damage there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to place different towers. Like here it's a very good spot as well for a blast. Uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna go for that because my, um, my research is very low. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need to place different towers. So I'm gonna just try to start with this, right? Uh, so here and here. Two basics. Uh, maybe here I could place like a blast, right? Here another freezing. Remember that you can stack the freezing first ability. You can stack it up to three times. So enemies frozen take extra damage. So that's something that you wanna you wanna do because of that. Uh, yeah, let's go now with minigun right here and also minigun right there. Then here at the center, they don't know what to what to place. Um, this also is a pretty good spot for splash, but uh, once again, like my blast and my splash, I'm not really uh, do not have much much research, so I don't know how well uh, it can be, you know, to to place them. So maybe it's just better to place other towers. All right, let's upgrade everything level one. You can see here I'm placing different towers. So I'm placing cannon for the fast enemies. I'm placing sniper for the strong ones, for the armored. I'm placing minigun for healers, for also the armored and for the strong enemies. Uh, and yeah, just trying to place different towers. Like when you have so many different enemy types, you wanna really do that. And let's also place, as I said before, here at the beginning, Venom to um, to get some damage over time on some enemies and I could also go for another freezing here so that uh, the special uh, passive from freezing is gonna make poison last much longer so it could actually be good the attack speed is very low on this random tower so like the projectiles are shot uh, not very often Now, down here, this map is pretty large, as you can see. So, down here, I can place my bounty, as before. Once again, to just increase a little bit the overall um, points that I get. Shouldn't be such a bad idea. I'm gonna increase, I'm gonna put first these towers in the right side, right? That can attack the enemies as they come out. Because these towers most likely are gonna also level up a little bit faster. And I got these cannons here just because of the fact that I wanted to handle uh, fast enemies. But actually now I have Venom. And Venom is very good at dealing damage to fast enemies. So um, yeah, I could actually place another Venom down here to refresh the poison. Because the poison like should have expired when the enemies can reach this side. So um, yeah, looks, looks the most logical thing to do. Right, level two right here. 
because I'm more slow. And uh, yeah, as always, uh, whenever I, I place bounties, I always recommend you to also do this. Like, try to wait, try to hold on, and to see how long you can survive. Um, just like that, so without upgrading your towers, because your towers may already do enough damage to, to you, for you to survive. But uh, if you upgrade them, right, you're gonna end up spending coins, and so uh, yeah, your bounty efficiency is gonna become lower. So that's why I recommend you to try to hold on and to, and to see how how actually long can you survive with just the towers. And remember, they're also going to level up, we're going to be able to gain more abilities, and uh, they're going to become stronger. Alright, so far so good. Let's go with this, so that I can reach also level 10 a little bit faster. Normally, like what I'm going to do in the later stages of the game, um, is gonna be rather than just keeping um, like for example see that the fast enemies sometimes they were able to sneak past uh, and uh, that's because of the fact that these freezings uh, like at the beginning they develop very slowly see here like these ones are not even level 4 yet so I don't even have the first ability and uh, but once your towers can level up much faster and so on what you can do on freezing is rather than getting first the first ability and then the third one, you can get first the third one. So that increases uh, and makes the the tower level up much faster, so then you can unlock the second ability much sooner. Alright, I I am now above um, 2500 uh, cash, that's exactly the threshold for the bounty. So I'll start upgrading now everything. Why not? And I can start also changing here the, the targeting. So maybe last year, maybe here strong. Uh, normally Venom, because Venom is going to try to apply poison to as many different enemies as possible. Normally you don't need to change targeting. Uh, but yeah, for other towers you might want to change targeting. I'm going to first upgrade like Minigun and uh, Sniper that have you know, a very large range and then I'm gonna go for like this cannons okay jet enemies here but uh, once again like the miniguns can attack them because they can attack flank enemies so I guess that's that's gonna be okay all right I'm gonna upgrade these basics now level six they're pretty cheap so I can get them without really using too many coins Level 6 right now, upgrade level is the maximum I can get my, my towers. And I'm thinking about like placing some more uh, minigans, right? And then placing some more snipers as well. So maybe like, uh, like this. Maybe this one's on strong. So I have once again more towers, different targeting, and I'm really trying to maximize that. Yeah, the most annoying enemies in the game, I think, are those ones right there, uh, the jet enemies. Because they're gonna be flying enemies already, you can target them only with certain towers, not with all of them. And the most annoying thing is the fact that you can't slow them down. They are immune to slow from your freezing or from any uh, any other tower. So yeah, that's super super annoying to deal with. Alright, more slow here. I could potentially get another freezing right there. In case the en enemies can push a little bit forward, I can keep them slowed down. This level 4, level 4 this sniper. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Definitely now upgrading these uh, Venoms at the start. You can see that this one is level 10, so I actually have the level 10 ability. And that's some extra damage that you can do, so I'm gonna try to upgrade the level, level 6 here as fast as possible. Uh, oops. Let's upgrade also this other one. Now, when the enemies become too tough, and you see that they start pushing forward regardless of what you do, that's when like saving up cash is useless, right? Because uh, you're gonna end up losing anyway. So it's a lot better to just upgrade your towers and try to you know, use the use the coins right away so, so that you can survive. Because otherwise, if you end up losing, then all that cash that you had stored was useless, right? So yeah, at these stages were normally like I even sell bounty. And uh, I just start, like, as soon as I get enough cash, I just upgrade my towers. So I'm gonna upgrade here this minigun on this attack speed tile, right? Should be pretty decent. Uh, this sniper right there on the range tile as well. A lot of range. I also upgrade this one that is level 10. But here I might lose. Let's see. Nope, not yet. Wait, already, like, almost level 90 here. It's uh, pretty, it's pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with this result. Uh, one quest was actually trying to gain a Tensor, but which I didn't do in time. So I will try to place a Miner here, but yeah, it's very long the installation time. So I might not be able to make it in time. Uh, yeah, because also it's 170 resources and also my speed is pretty low. So yeah, right here I'm gonna lose. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I didn't see the, the Tans request. Anyway, that's three stars. All right, that's all I wanted. And also I got some chests here, some blueprints. So that should be some extra resources as well. Uh, here, nice. Uh, and I finally unlocked Tesla. No, nope, not yet. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Quick sort. What is this? Oh, I need this one. So I need this research in order to gain and to unlock this level right here. That's super weird. Like I've never seen this um, these requirements like to unlock the level. I knew that you had to have some stars on previous levels, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't think it was also like some research. So I need actually tensor. So I'm gonna need to go into any level here. I might need to replay, let's see, a level that has a tensor miner, probably this one. This one right here, right? It looks looks nice. And I will need to mine tensor. So um yeah, that's uh that's unfortunate. But uh, I guess I will have to I will have to do it. Um yeah, let's go with basic, basic, right? One minigun as well. And let's try to go with that, with that start. Of course, you have to be careful because of the fact that you want to go with uh, uh, with your miners, right? But at the same time, you need to survive because if you, if you place your miners too soon before your towers are strong enough you're gonna have some enemies leaking and then at the end of the day you're not gonna be really able to mine that much so um so yeah for example here i might lose some lives but i got my miner down and uh, it's mining already some resources i guess that's uh, that's fine So placing some more towers here as well. Some snipers now. Um, yeah, also here, or maybe here, right? Venom, because here in the left side, some the toxic enemies are spawned, and these enemies are immune to uh, to poison. So probably going for maybe here blast, right? gonna place a mining speed uh, modifier here to increase the speed and let's upgrade this tensor miner as well like if I remember I needed around 30 resources so I could theoretically already end this level 
but once again, let's try to survive a little bit longer to gain some more resources. I got uh, some double mining speed here because of the fact that I'm calling the next wave as soon as I can defeat all the all the enemies from the current one. And uh, uh, yeah, let's go also with blast right there. Seems logical. Very nice spot here in the corner. Um. Once I have around, yeah, 100 here, 100 tensor, I'm gonna just call it a day. I don't really uh, need to do this level that long. I just needed those few tensor and even have double gain here. So I got uh, 200, but I just need enough resources to unlock this. So here we go. And therefore now I got uh, my Tesla um, unlocked. Right, yeah. So let's try to upgrade it uh, at the same stage I have the other towers. So uh, the experience level up to level uh, 5. Right, yeah, 5. Then everything else level 3. Let's see if I have enough resources to do that. I think I should. Uh, nope. Oh, I don't have any more back there, I think. So I'm going to be restricted there. I guess. Yeah, only level 2. So I can only upgrade here the lightning damage. But that's uh, that's a pretty decent already. The only thing I didn't got was the extra level, the starting level, compared to the other towers. So, yeah. Tesla is another very strong tower, so I recommend you to try to use it as much as possible. And uh, now, this level here, it's very, very interesting. Because you can see that the level develops from the top towards the bottom. And um, and every time the enemies are going to just teleport towards the next level, right? The bottom part. Uh, and so, for example, if you place any tower right here, it's going to attack the enemies for a really little time. So in this map, I recommend you to try to go with towers that have a lot of range. So that in that way, you can, you can still attack enemies in different um, parts. Enemies spawn here, there are no flying enemies, so that's great. And uh, now Tesla here efficiency, you can see that uh, pretty decent against healers and toxic, but Tesla cannot attack uh, armored and is very bad against fast. So uh, I'm gonna have to do something about these fast enemies. Normally like Tesla and uh, Venom combo with of course freezing, it's already a pretty decent combo, especially if you also add some snipers and miniguns. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that. And yeah, let's see how it goes. So here freezing, like the, all these spots are bad. Maybe this one could be decent for freezing. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just start like this, right? Venom and Tesla. And the cool thing about Tesla is that you do damage to multiple enemies. So um, that's, that's a huge advantage like compared to many other other towers. I could even place just one cannon there, just at the beginning. So here, freezing. And I'm gonna really exploit these uh, attack speed tiles to place minigans. Remember that minigun, it's a tower that uh, exploits especially good attack speed. So yeah, let's go with two minigans right there. Uh, now next I could place another Venom right here to refresh the poison. But yes, yeah, as I said before, see Tesla is very bad against uh, enemies, uh, fast enemies. So that's why uh, I will I will need to either place other towers that can deal with these fast enemies. And unfortunately, both minigun and sniper are pretty bad because they also have low efficiency. So that's why I placed a cannon there, and I might even need to place another uh, or maybe another Venom. Because also Venom is pretty decent against fast enemies. But yeah, at the end of the day, you can see that you need to always like uh, combo the towers. Like you cannot go with just one tower uh, because you're gonna end up having certain weaknesses. So yeah, the best thing is to actually just combo them. 
Uh, yeah, let's go with another cannon. I think it's gonna be needed, so I'm gonna just place it right now. And then Tesla range is also not a large as sniper, but it's pretty similar to like Minigun, maybe slightly smaller. So I could uh, maybe get another like Tesla uh, down here somewhere. Maybe here another uh, freezing, and then here another Tesla. So that maybe if I can upgrade it up to level six, right? I can maybe reach this upper portion, and I should be able to to cover a pretty decent part of the map. You can see that I always prefer to place my towers down. Like uh, I don't place one tower and I upgrade it a lot. I try to place different towers first. And then I slowly like upgrade all of them together. I think this is like the best, uh, the best thing you can do to really try to have uh, some different damages also, so that your towers can start earning some experience, right? So you can then unlock abilities and so on. All right. Um, now Venom here, I could. Uh, just place it on random as well, um, so that sometimes I can, I might even be able to to poison an enemy that's in the back, right? Here's the snipers, one in random, one in strong. So again, just trying to mix things up. Let's see now how what happens, how long I can survive with this. There are many platforms here, uh, and there are also some range uh, tiles down there. So, in theory, I could place like some snipers down here, exploiting their very nice base range already, plus the base, the bonus range that they can gain to like attack enemies from very far back. But the other platforms, I don't really recommend it to to place as many towers there because uh, you're gonna end up uh, like wasting cash on towers that are gonna be able to only attack enemies a few times so they're not gonna really be able to level up that much and uh, yeah at the end of the day if you like the strongest things about your towers is when you can unlock different abilities right so that is what you should always be trying to do and so that's why it's better not just to upgrade them manually, but also to make him level up. Yes, this Tesla now level 10. So that's very, very nice. I'm gonna upgrade it level 4 here. I'm also approaching this 100% efficiency on the bounty. That's why I'm also trying to hold on to the cash and not spend it right away. And maybe I can even get one here of these miniguns on strong as well. So that you can maybe just keep on targeting one single enemy and to, to stack more attack speed. Alright, level 4. Level 4 also these snipers. Uh, toxic enemies here. Uh, oh, I might, I might be in trouble here. So, um, yeah, 100% Tesla. Let's see, Sniper. Yeah, Sniper is not very good. And also Minigun is not very good. Uh, yeah, because also toxic enemies, when you don't attack them, they're gonna regen HP. See this plus? This is because they're regenerating, uh, regenerating HP, because no tower is damaging them. So I will try to get here... This stats are like level 4. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see. Maybe level 5. But yeah, these enemies are gonna sneak past nonetheless. Alright, let's upgrade this bottom sniper now level 4 just to gain some more range. And definitely, I wanna upgrade this top Tesla now level 6. Because otherwise you can see that these toxic enemies when they come all together like uh, especially I think the random targeting is very bad because of the fact that you need to kill them 
Otherwise, they're going to be regenerating HP. So that's when the random targeting really hurts. And I think here I'm going to lose. Uh, so, yeah. This is a pretty bad map. As I said before, because of the fact that you cannot really place your towers efficiently, right? They're going to be able to to get very easily far away from your towers. So yeah, I still got my three stars, so that's okay. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, it wasn't a very good run. Uh, okay, so let's open up these chests as well, as always, right? Um, Webbing Tovel up here. Now, there were some upgrades here I needed to get. So this one level three. And also this one, but I don't have Matrix. And I think all the towers are now... No, wait. Range here also needed, level 3. And I think now they're all deep. And they're all equal, right? Level 3, level 3. Um, so, maybe even getting here light, lightning damage. Level 3. Lightning length. This is very important early on because of the fact that this is going to increase the amount of enemies you can hit with the lightning. So, the, the, the proc. Um, Alright. That should be good. Now I got some more stars here. Now um, I can go for this power, or I could just go for uh, many enemies being slower, two percent. I don't know if that's very much. Okay, attack speed. Um, So yeah, let's go for this top upgrade first, right? I want to really get this extra power. I think it's going to be really helpful to make my towers stronger. So I'm going to go for this three. And then let's see how many more stars I can gain. Uh, and yeah, I want to do just one more level, right? In this episode. So let's do 4.6. Uh, oh, now this is actually a pretty nice level because of the fact that uh, you can place towers and you can attack the enemies. Um very efficiently. There are also some very good platforms here. So yeah, that's nice. Enemy spawn, again, no flying enemies, so that's an advantage. Uh, but there are healers and the toxics, so you're gonna have to place different type of towers. Um, now here, once again, exploiting this attack speed tile, I'm gonna place a minigun right here. And probably just Tesla, right? Let's try to see this start. At the beginning, you can see that the damage you do, it's pretty decent uh, with Tesla. And you can hit a lot of enemies. So that's why it's so it's so nice. I could potentially get already one freezing right here to be able to slow down enemies. And remember that also freezing bonus, a special stat, increases the lightning bonus from the uh, Tesla tower. So. It's, uh, once again, exactly as this freezing tower is good for Venom, it's also good for Tesla. So that's why you always want to, like, combo these towers uh, between them. I'm going to go for a Tensor, a Miner right there as well. I see the quest already, so I want to do it right away. I don't want to lose any time. Alright, level 1. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing like using a different approach. I will, I will, I will start doing this. So I'm gonna try to uh, place less towers right at the start, especially so that I can maybe focus on like miners on getting something else. Um, and uh, and yeah, so normally like once you start progressing through the game, this is something that you always wanna do. Like, you never want to place too many towers. You're going to start placing a few of them. And you're going to... Uh, because you're going to upgrade them. And you're going to make them stronger. Especially once you start getting some decent research. At the start, it might be better to just focus on placing a ton of different towers. right? But then, at a certain stage of the game, it's a lot better to just instead... Um, place uh, less towers, maybe not as many, but so that you can upgrade them to level 6 very quickly and uh, you can really maximize their damage. Uh, I think I'm going to place another Venom right here in this corner. So I have two. Two Venoms. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, second ability here. And also another cool thing is that when you have less towers, not as many towers in the screen, uh, you can actually make them blah blah much faster because uh, there are less towers between which the experience must be shared. So that's another thing that you you have, you have to remember. Let's see now these toxics. Yeah, these toxics actually see all of them regenerating HP. So yeah, these enemies are actually the most annoying ones. That I'm gonna have to be careful about because it's very easily like as soon as they don't receive damage it's very easy for for them to regen HP so I might need to place uh, something to do, to do constant damage maybe I could just place a splash right there just for the meantime just to do some damage so that they can't regen the HP right or they can't regen as much but yeah this splash is bad because of the fact that it's very low level so it might be even better to go with like double blast because at least that's gonna be like uh, constant damage because the attack speed is uh, a little bit higher all right uh yeah let's get manic speed modifier right there to boost this tensor level one as well I got my bounty down as well, so I'm receiving some extra coins. But uh, yeah, I need to I need to keep on upgrading the to these towers, so I'm not really able to save up that much, uh, that many coins. But that's okay, I guess. All right, let's see here how it goes with this. Uh, yeah, a little bit better. The fact that they weren't able to regen that much HP was definitely better, but uh, yeah, not, still not the best. I'm gonna place actually two snipers right there, right, exploiting these extra range uh, platforms. And I'm gonna keep them on first, because in that way, when toxic enemies are gonna come out, I will be able to uh, to shoot them down, and, like and to destroy them uh, so that they can regen HP. Because if I just place them on random or strong, I might not be able to destroy them completely, and so they're gonna be able to regen HP. That's not uh, what I want. Uh, now I could potentially place another Tesla here to keep on doing some decent damage to this uh, toxic enemies. So let's go a Tesla right there. Let's also go for a cannon. Cannons are pretty decent as well against uh, these toxic enemies. All right, and yeah, as you can see, like uh, the strategies I'm using are not uh, super good. I'm trying to improvise, right? I'm trying to see which towers work best, uh, which are gonna be the ones that are gonna allow me to the highest impact onto the onto the enemies and be able to survive as long as possible. Alright. So yeah unfortunately here I could place another mining speed modifier, right? I could place another bounty as well. Uh, but I just have one so I cannot really upgrade that. Okay level four here this um Venom Towers, also let's go level 4 Tesla, increases also the range up a little bit. Uh, these snipers as well, level 4. Alright, that should be it. Yeah, you can see that these uh, um, Venom Towers are doing a very good job against these fast enemies. Because the the you know the damage over time plus the slow plus the fact that poison lasts so long it's uh, it's a very good combo. So even if I don't have any cannon or any other tower that deals good damage against these fast enemies, I'm still able to bring them down. Level four here, freezing. Yeah, 
there is here a corner, like I, up here, I think, is where the random enemies do not take any damage because I think I don't, I don't have any good tower that can reach that spot. Well, other than this blast, but that are pretty weak. Also, another resource that I needed was Matrix, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna also place another uh, miner right here. Let's try to see if I can mine some more Matrix. Okay, definitely upgrading here these towers for all these toxic enemies. Level level four or five, and I'm gonna still lose uh, some lives anyway. So uh, yeah. gonna lose here oh that's so bad so once again I lost to another toxic uh, wave enemy uh, yeah anyway I got my three stars and as I said before that's your first goal uh, and uh, yeah I got some other resources as well at the same time all right let's open up these chests uh, I also got here a purple chest oh, wow I got a legendary le legendary key um, alright, let's continue here with the, with the stars. And I can get another upgrade up here, wave interval, uh, range, nice. And this also is pretty decent, like plus two seconds, wave interval. Uh, but I'm gonna need a lot of matrix and a lot of tensor. But, uh, but yeah, I think it was pretty decent, right? I was able to reach here uh, stage 4.7, right? I unlocked it. So uh, yeah, that was episode 8. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you. Bye-bye.